What's up guys? So another update on the severely roughed up Alice pack. Now, I put it up for sale. And um, I'm thinking to myself, it's probably better at this point to drive the price down and get whatever I can for it rather than actually uh, spending money on this pack, repairing it. Another thing that also I'm a little bit hesitant to do is try these surface mount buckles, and I'll tell you why. Now, melting a couple of holes at this distance, I don't foresee a problem. But at this distance, you know, this is really, really close. And what I fear might happen is I end up melting a hole a little too big and uh, it's just gonna end up being one massive hole. You know, it could rip. It could basically rip or just melt a bigger hole than I um, than I plan to and it would end up um, just like one, either one massive hole or just a really, really thin layer of, uh, of fabric in between these two uh, studs here. So, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think at this point, I may actually, because I'll, I'll include the, the repair buckles in the sale, you know, in the, in the pack, if anyone were to actually purchase it. I already got an offer at 9. I'm hoping to sell it for at least 10, to be honest. Put it up for 15 just to see if I, I'm able to get that much more or at least, you know, start from a higher price and then eventually, hopefully, settle for at least 10. Um, so, yeah, guys, what can I say? I'm a little bit hesitant at this point simply because... Um, I'd rather sell it and get rid of it to eliminate the temptation of me repairing it. Because if I do, I know that it's going to cost at least 10 euros. Because I've got to, first of all, I've got to do this myself and be really careful not to melt an excessive amount of uh, fabric or that it doesn't rip and, um, you know, it's just going to end up wobbling around at that point, which is uh, not what I want. But at this point, whoever feels like um, endeavoring in this project, I'll include the buckles and they can have fun with it themselves. Because I feel like at this point, I may ruin it. And um, although I, you know, it's not too much money wasted, it's, uh, you know, potentially 10 euros is down the drain or, you know, anything anything like that you know it's it's not a huge loss but i still don't want to I, I just don't want to risk it and most importantly um i'm hoping that the resale will go uh or the budget you know from the resale will actually go into another project which i think is worth pursuing and uh i'd probably prefer um focusing more on that project than focusing on this also um <laughs> what ended up happening was uh really unfortunate i broke my trusty seam ripper Let's see if there we go snapped while trying to unstitch some seriously heavy duty um stitching on the italian army ruck and uh, that was annoying just because I've used this for years and, uh, you know, I, it just works. You know when something just works and uh, you fear replacing it? Well, guess what? I bought another uh, seam ripper from just a cheap store and uh, that broke instantly. Not only that, it, you know, it just pushed itself all the way, as you can see if this thing focuses all the way inside the uh, cap 
and just snap the plastic everywhere. And on top of that, the thing just wobbled a little bit and it didn't really cut all that well. So again, I'm going to have to purchase yet another one. Uh, and at this point, when something like that happens, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's a minor cost, but it, at the end of the day, it, I I have to you know include it in uh, in the repair process of this project because at that point it's you know this project is starting to cost me more than I expect even just purchasing extra seam rippers, and that's really annoying. So it's kind of like you know all these uh, all these things happening is is it's kind of like life telling me you know stop there <laughs> or what have you you know it, it's kind of like it, it puts um it puts a little you know it's it's a setback basically and i went to look for another one of these and um at an actual store where they would sell them and they won't have them until next week so until next week i'm basically stuck with this pack as it is unless I am able to find uh, a better seam ripper. Um, but uh, that's the thing, guys. I just really wanted to make this video now. It's getting a little bit lengthy. Just to tell you that, unfortunately, for the time being, I think I'm going to scrap this project and uh, actually just sell it for parts so that I can... Um, so that I can put that money towards a project that's actually worth pursuing which you will see in the upcoming videos. So all I can say is thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys.